All right, now a few days ago, Samsung launched this brand new application called Galaxy Enhance X, which is a powerful AI photo upscaler and magic editor. This is basically a dedicated photo editor app from Samsung. Now, some of you might be wondering why did Samsung launch this application when we already have a photo editor and enhancer inside the Samsung Gallery application? Let's find out in this video. Now, this new app is meant to enhance an existing image with the help of artificial intelligence, which is built into the application. This does not involve human intervention to enhance the image. Let me show you how that works. Here I have the Note 20 Ultra on the left and S22 Ultra on the right. Let's open an image inside the gallery and tap on edit. Now on the S22 Ultra, let's open Samsung Enhance X application and select an image. As you can see here on the Enhance X app, we have a few options here such as HDR, Brighten, Fixed Blur, sharpen and a few more options and all we need to do is tap on a particular fix you need if you want to fix the brightness of the image just tap on brightness the ai will enhance the brightness to the extent this image needs to make it look better to the human eyes the enhanced image would look much better in most cases and if you need more brightness you can intervene and increase it or decrease it that's how we can edit and enhance an image with the help of ai and human intervention to a small extent Whereas if you have to edit the brightness on gallery, we have to manually do it by tapping on the option we have here. As you can see, we have to use the slider to increase it or decrease the brightness. More often, we are not sure about a perfect brightness level. You may find the best brightness level for your eyes, but others may not find it the best. But in the case of Enhance X application, the AI works on it and optimizes the image, which would look better for most people. This will be handy when you are posting images on your social media accounts. This is how the editing features work on these two applications. Likewise, all the other options we have on the Enhance X app enhances the image automatically with the help of AI, whereas on the gallery, everything is manual except for one option, which is here at the bottom left corner. This is the only option which can enhance the image using the AI. For the rest of it, we have to manually do it. Now let's open a portrait image on both these phones. I will tap edit in the gallery app and here on enhance X, I will tap on more. Now let's compare the editing options we have on both these apps. Inside the gallery, we get variety of tools to edit an image which can be done manually. Whereas on the enhance X application, we get limited options. Some of them are similar to the gallery editing options. Let me show you which are similar. We have face FX over here. Now here, if I tap on more, we have got face FX here as well. Now you can see in the gallery, the AI is not going to work on this. Whereas on the Enhance X application, the AI will enhance the image and then it is going to show you a few options where you can manually edit it. In gallery, we have got smoothness, tone, jawline, eyes. And we have got a few more options like spot fixer, background blur, red eye fix. Here on the Enhance X, we have got smoothness, tone, jawline, eyes fix as well. Now these four editing tools can be used manually on Enhance X. At the same time, the AI is going to fix the image as well. Now let me show you where Galaxy Enhance X has an upper hand when it comes to background effects for portraits. Again in the gallery app, let me tap on this kebab menu. I'll tap on face effects. Now here we have got an option background blur and we get a slider to blur the background and it doesn't really work that great. Let me show you how this works. As you can see, it is blurring the background, but not the entire background. Whereas on the Enhance X, if I tap on portrait, it blurs the background of a normal portrait image so well, it looks as if we have taken this image in portrait mode on the camera. That is just amazing. Not just that, we get so many background options here. As you can see, we have got effects like high key mono, low key mono, backdrop, color point, spin, etc. right here on this Enhance X app itself. All these effects can be applied to a normal image which is not taken in portrait mode on your phone's camera. Now this doesn't mean that we cannot use these effects without the Galaxy Enhance X application. We can still do it, but we will have to take an image in the portrait mode on the camera to edit the image, to add these effects to the image. Either we can do it live or we can add these effects after the photo is being taken. But here on Enhance X application, the AI works seamlessly 
These effects get applied to the normal images so well, it is just brilliant. These are the key differences between the Galaxy Enhance X application and a regular photo editor we have got on Samsung Gallery application. I'm sure Samsung is going to improve this Galaxy Enhance X application in the future and they might add more features to this. Certainly this is a very advanced application that we have here. The app is very simple but this is a very advanced photo editor that we have on Samsung Galaxy phone. Now this application is not available on all the devices. Right now it is on the limited phones such as Galaxy S22 series and probably a few previous generations of the flagships. I hope Samsung is not going to limit this application only on the flagships. I feel it should be made available to every Samsung Galaxy user. But we know Samsung, let's wait and see that. That's all I want to share with you guys. I hope you are already a subscriber on Apex. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead, smash the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.